in this video we are heading over to yet another town lake to get us more points so that we can qualify for worlds Ooh, it's a bit bright just a minute yep this video will be split into two parts because there is a town lake today and tomorrow so yay the organizers have been putting in a lot of effort to make sure that everyone that wants to play at least got one slot either today or tomorrow so good job to them the qualification criteria for worlds over here in singapore is different because we have to get inside the top four in terms of number of points in order to qualify i'm currently now in ninth place so there is a bit of catching up to do and these are top top players in singapore so wish me luck a few moments later we are lost we are lost we are lost <laughs> the shop we were supposed to go to was under renovation but hey good news the shop owner managed to rent us a bar to play pokemon so after registration we are ready to play more than 80 players in this town league which means the bar was filled to the brim two hours later it's end of game four and i am 3-1 up uh, very thankful for that lost first game against Jitmin who was playing Regigigas uh, mainly because the power to the pick from Regigigas st stuck all the way and I couldn't use Gradient Greninja to draw cards and I couldn't get my Temple of Sinnoh uh, to, to bump back so I couldn't heal my Kudra V-Star Game 2 was pretty close I was playing against Jin Hao who was playing the Lost Box with Dragonite V Yep, so he had a... Uh, he was very very close I... but I managed to dig out one of the boss's order to... to knock out the Dragonite V and when the Raikou V came out it was 10 damage short so I got the game from that Game 3 was against Zhang Jing who was playing Lugia Vista so MVP of the game was Temple of Sino. it got down to the last two prizes who would get the last two so I put down the Temple of Sino to, to block the powerful energy from his Lugia Vista so his Lugia Vista couldn't knock out my Grudra Vista and then it was a matter of bossing the Lugia Vista out for the win and then game 4 was against Walter who was playing Arceus Giratina and he scooped the game early for to me because uh, I started first I had a uh, Gudra V set up and I think 2 to 3 cuts in the lost zone and then all he could do is keep calling without an Arceus V in play and on my second turn I used Kremlin knocked out one of his Sobos and then he couldn't set up his Arceus V didn't have the right hand, didn't have the Drizzle so he just said, you know, it's he's too far behind so he gave me the win three more games to go so I won't be able to win the town league because that requires a perfect record but I do hope that I can get a good record so that I can at least get some points Okay, so game 5 was against uh, Brendan who was playing Mew VMAX so um, it went, the exchange was good, I started well and I Gudra Vista managed to knock out one of his Mew VMAX with two hits and then the other three prizes was just a Drapion V to knock it out, the other VMAX Game 6 was against Hui Liang who was playing a Lost Box He had an interest, very interesting tech which was Abominable V uh, I didn't expect that to be honest He... But uh, I set up... He set up too slowly I would say By the time his Abominable V knocked out my Gudra V star I already took 4 prizes I believe And then it was just a matter of um, Ordinary rodding back the Galarian Zigzagoon um, using Raihan to take it out and then scoop up net for the extra 10 damage. So it's 2, two 220 HP was the Abominable V's HP. So 
and then the other Gudra Vista just cleaning up for the last two prizes. The final game, Game 7, was against Quark Hall, who was also piloting Mew V Max. So uh, I had a horrible start. Started went first, but it was just a Gudra V attach energy pass, and then um, he did all his usual Mew V Max stuff. Uh, turn 2. I I could only bench a Gudra V attach energy and pass. So all he, all he needed to do was to KO my one of the, the active Gudra V and then three power tablets gave him the second knockout of my Gudra V star. And then when my Drapion came out it was too late. I needed to find the temple to temple of Sino to stop him but I didn't. So he took the Drapion V as the last two prizes. I finished with a record of 5-2. That put me in number 9. Very so close to top 8, but it is what it is, right? Okay, we have the top. We have the winner of today's Town League. Yeah! So two times. Two times winner, yes. <laughs> so this is the second time we have Iso on the stream. Yeah, so Iso, so what are, how are you feeling right now? Lugia, my today is using Lugia. Lugia. But today, many people are using Lost Box, yes, Lost yes. Dragon Eye. Dragon Eye. Mm, I think uh, Lugia 2A0 HP. Yes. HP. Uh, Dragon Eye, Choice Bed. Yeah. yeah, correct. Charm. Big Charm. Big Charm. Big Charm. Big Charm. Big Charm. Good. Big so, so the big chance save you yes. for any games? Yeah. How many? How many? Uh, games? Uh, three. Three uh, games. Three, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Raiko, yeah. Amazing Raiko, right. uh, Bert, three hundred. Yes. Um, Charm. Three so yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is the special tech that he so brought in today, the big chance. So what helped you search for the big chance? Mm. Is there any way for you to search for the big chance or like money research or do you have like? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Skyla or is it Skyla no, or Irida? Um, to uh, professor, professor, professor research, professor research, <laughs> to professor research. Yes. Oh, it's really yeah. Nice. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> so you guys should know Lu uh, Iso was playing Lugia. Mm. So how how did you prepare for today's talk? Um, to ma. Battle. Uh -huh. I want to. Yeah. Many people <laughs> using Lost. Yes, lost yes, Box. Sorry. Lost Box. Practice. Uh, lost Box. Past. Yes. Rugia Second. Uh -huh. Practice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 One. 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 Doc. 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 Raiko. Amazing Raiko. Yeah. Two. Two. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Good plan. Yes. So you have a lot of practice against yes. Lost Box. Yes. Right. So how about? Mew. Do you practice against ah, Mew? Mew! Mew! Easy! Easy! <laughs> Easy. So you just Lugia and... Yeah, Lugia, my choice belt, powerful yeah. energy, yeah. Yeah. one time, done, yeah. three. And then Evil Tower. Evil Tower, sorry, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, so most of your practice is against Lost Box. Yeah. Yes. Okay, it's Leo E. So, any final thoughts you want to... Any final things you want to say to the audience? I want to World Championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, of course. Maybe, maybe, maybe go to. Very close, yeah, very close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ima, number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Yeah. So, so Ito has accumulated enough points. So, it's currently number one in the points total. Yeah, so for those who don't know, the top four get to qualify for World. So, Ito is in a very good spot right now. And we still have another tournament tomorrow that he is taking part. We are taking part in. Hopefully, I don't meet him until the end. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Last game, last game. Last game. Last game, two of us. Right? Okay. So, thank you, thank you so much, Iso. Thank you, Arigato. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. The next day. It's Tonic number two, and we are at One Up Skates. It's a skate shop that doubles up as a TCG shop on certain days, so you can find both TCG products as well as skating essentials. And after registration, we wait for our first game. In the meantime, here's some footage of Haruki-chan playing with the camera. Later. 
later. Okay, I'm done with all seven games today. So finish three, four. Don't think I will be inside the the points. Um, ranking, I believe top 32 gets points. I might squeeze in uh, into the top 32. I don't know it's about that. So results will be out later. So third game one was against Marcus who was playing Lugia. And I just couldn't get Chorus's experiment out. By the time I got my first Chorus experiment, um, I already had 10, 10 cuts in the loss zone. And so it didn't really matter. And then Marcus just bossed two of my Gudra Vs and then I just couldn't recover from that. I had a game 2 buy, so that was nice. I rested and went around looking at what other people were doing. Game 3 was against Hannah who was playing a very unique deck, Zacian V Star. So I was really really afraid of the strat attack that Zacian V Star have. As long as well as the Zazen Vista Vista attack, which does 310, so it one shot knocks out my Gudra Vista if she bosses it out. But managed to get the win by slowly knocking out the, her one prizes and then bypassing the Zazen Vista in a way by bossing out the Luminion V and then taking the last prize buyer and escape rope. Game 4 was against Jason who was also playing Lugia Vista and yeah so story of the day I can't find my Coressus experiments um, so zero Coressus experiments played I believe in this game at most one it's the same story as game one um, he bossed out Gudra V and then Gudra V and then the last two prizes were just one prizes very easily taken so yeah got the loss on game four game five was against wang Tse, who was playing lugia v star same story no caresses experiment um so i don't know what was happening today kind of disappointed that that how i play but at the same time i can't blame myself because caresses experiment just didn't come so the same story lugia um bossed out gudra v gudra v and then Raiko took the last two prizes. Game 6 was against Jay who was playing Shadow Rider. Kelly Rex, very unique deck. And I it was very very close. It came down to who got the bosses order. And yeah, I managed to second last turn I managed to finally use Coress's experiment to get to the bosses order and he couldn't take he didn't draw it. So the following turn, I used the boss's order to get the win. And then game 7 was against Minghorn who was playing Weezing and yeah, turn 1 for a seal stone on the Crobat V. And that was the bush shake to get the Weezing. And then I probably made a mistake by not putting a Parasol on Drapion V which I sent out to, to buy me a few turns. Um, because I was saving the big parasol for the Gudra V slash V star, um, should have put it on the Drapion V to buy me a few more turns. But maybe that was the mistake. The only, probably the only mistake I made in in all of the games today. Overall, I don't. I think I tried my best. Probably just that one to two mistakes. It's one of those days where the cards just don't want to fall to you and for today it's Chorus's experiment yeah I guess I'm a little bit disappointed in myself but not too disappointed maybe but I guess I had fun right you know uh, despite the deck not working for me today it's just one of those days right you just have to let it go move on and then yeah leave it behind so yeah so that was my games recap for today's town league on to the interview of the winner. Okay, we are here with the winner of today's time with Yongxia. Yeah. So Yongxia, tell us about what you were playing today. Okay, I was playing the same old, la, so it's basically just Lost Box, but uh, had a few minor tags which okay. helped out. So one of the tags was the Giratina V, which okay. helps with the Reggie matchup, which I fought mm. Ralph in. La. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so 
So how does Giratina help in the Reggie matchup by taking two hits or? Uh, yeah, the first thing is that like he can take two hits and then like another thing is you will force him to like after you take one hit right, you can retreat the Tina and then you will force him to get a boss to just to get back one more hit like, ah. in a sense uh, So like it wastes their support also uh, so they cannot money you and all that thing. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay, so, that's yeah. Any Interesting matchup or like very very close matchups. Okay, so that's the one, yeah, the, the one with uh, Ralph, right. the mm -hmm. Reggie matchup. So it came down to almost okay, it sort of came down to time la, and then uh, we sort of concluded based on like who could conclude the game. Right. So then uh, it ended with uh, him trying to search for search for okay, so my turn went like this. I, I retreated my Tina so that I could use Saber Eye because uh, I escape rope his uh, Reggie Rock out. So he didn't have all his Regis. Mm. So then his Regi Rock doesn't have any energy also. Okay. So then he cannot really attack. And then I played a Temple of Sea mm. So then what he needed was uh, something like Boss, uh, Stadium Bump, yeah. and then another Regi right. to hit. Yeah. yeah, so there's a lot of things that he needed. Yeah. So in the end, it came down to him not being able to attack at all. Right. So then like, uh, he just concluded that way. Okay. And then okay. I, I won. Okay. So, so, so it was a very close match. So it was a gentleman's agreement yeah, that yeah, they yeah, cannot yeah. set up. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, so just take note because uh, on our side, if it's a, it's a BO1 format, hello. How many wins? Uh, two wins. Haruki, hello. Hello. <laughs> three wins, three wins today. How many wins today, Haruki? Five. Five. Whoa. Five. Number Five. One. Very good. Number one. Number? You see your number? Yeah. Position, number? Yeah. Eight. Okay. Four. Fourteen. Good, good. Fourteen. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, very true uh, boy. Haruki is very strong player. Also. Very strong. So yeah, so we search a bit Haruki. Yeah. I saw one of his plays right, he was playing uh, Lugia Mirror. Yeah, okay. So um he, the opponent would have had the win if he promoted the wrong Pokemon. Oh. So if it was like Archeops out, uh -huh. then the opponent had a Lugia V star behind. So he uh, you use Archeops to knock out one of his single prize Pokemon. Okay, okay. So what Haruki a lot of people who have promoted the Ar Ar uh, Lugia V star, okay. but he promoted the Archeops. Okay, okay. Then he got the win by Luminion next turn. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so very, that was the last one. Wow, Haruki is good. He's yeah. the top junior player. Top junior yeah, player. Yeah. So yeah, where were we? Because Lost Box right now is like the Lost Box versus Lugia. Mm. Uh, do you have any tips for Lost Box against the Lugia matchup? Uh, okay, basically, right, it's, to me it's quite 50 50. Yeah. So it depends on how the turn goes for the first two turns. Yeah. So it's always like uh, the first first or second turn you can sort of determine like who is winning the yeah, game. Yeah. Really, yeah. So uh, it's quite 50 50. Yeah. So it depends on your check. Your seven matchups, what were the percentage of which match? Oh, there were a lot of Lugias. Yeah, I think yeah. I faced like four or five Lugias. Oh, then wow. one Reggie, and so who was the last one? But there were a lot of Lugias. Oh, yeah. 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 There's one more Lost Box. Yeah. One more Lost Box. Yeah. So yeah. one more Lost Box, one Reggie, and all Lugias. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Lost Box is effective against Lugia, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Favorite? Were you rated at 60, 40 or 55? Uh, I'd say about 55 to 55. 55. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah. So any last words for the uh, audience? Just keep playing. Just you keep will playing. get better. Yeah. yeah, so just keep playing. Yeah, so just keep playing and you'll eventually be able to place. Yeah. Yeah, if you are looking for points or just play for fun, so can. Yeah, just keep playing, practice, and then you will get there. Mm. Alright, okay. once thank again, you so thank you so much. Thank you. Awkward! Thanks for your price. Okay, thanks for your price. Okay, let's thanks for your price. Okay, okay. Thanks, uh, hey. Later. Alright, I am back home after a long day or rather long two days had lots of fun and i think that essentially is what playing pokemon cards it's about yes you want to be competitive you want to win but you do have to understand that you know you there will be winners and there'll be losers you are going to lose from time to time and that's perfectly fine i have a few ideas on how to improve on the deck and yeah we'll be trying the new mechanisms out in the next few weeks because the next town league will be on 18th of march if i remember correctly and yep that is the one that we are going to train for if you are still watching thank you for staying to the end sending you lots of love remember to subscribe like whatever see you in the next video